Really, I feel like my purpose and my work is just to help people live happier lives, make more money, and be successful in their businesses through entrepreneurship and brand protection. My name is Dana Thomas Cook. I am a trademark attorney based here in Atlanta, but I assist entertainers and entrepreneurs with protecting their businesses and brands. And I came down to Atlanta to go to Georgia State undergrad, and I stayed for law school and ended up staying for life. All of the internships that I got were mainly for solo attorneys, attorneys who had started their own firms. And so that is when I got my first taste of what it was like to start your own law firm. And I loved it. I fell in love with how flexible they are. Um, they got to wear whatever they wanted to work. Their clients love them. They can build their own schedule. They seem so happy. And so I was really excited that that was actually a possibility. For Dana to uh, graduate school and go right into her own practice shows that she is defiant. She respects status quo, but doesn't honor it to the point that it defines her. And that decision showed that, you know, she's a force. And those are the type of people that will continue to lead, continue to help others grow, and more importantly, give us a new blueprint. He's not sure, you know, whether she's using it or trademark or any of that stuff. And he's considering now trademarking because he's also trying to expand. So as the lawyer, we want to give our clients all the options, right? And let them know what's the be better option and which is not the better option. But those are his options. What most people don't know, law school does not teach you that much how to practice law. It teaches you more how to think. And so really the, the key of what I teach is to educate and inspire because entrepreneurs, who are our clients, um, they need to learn about entrepreneurship. They're eager to learn and know that they can actually do it and make it happen. And only until they really believe that is when they're gonna invest in their careers and you know hire lawyers. When I started my law firm, I had my son like about a year or even maybe a little bit before that. And I actually moved to Florida to live with my grandmother for eight months so she could help, you know? And I literally ran my law firm from my grandmother's bedroom. And for some people that might be, you you know a tough story to tell but it's exciting for me because it inspires other moms or other you know single parents who might be raising children and trying to start a business because a lot of my students have been in that position I'm a father I have two boys but I will always give my wife the ultimate credit because you know there's nothing like a mother's love there's nothing like a mother's intention women like Dana mothers like Dana are intentional with their delivery and their life's purpose. At the end of last year, I said, you know what? The vision is that I can spend more time with my family. Everything that I'm doing now is to free up more time to be with them because I want to play all day like they do, you know? And so if I build my businesses to a place where they can be automated, work without me, then I think that I'll be able to achieve that sooner than later. If we haven't learned anything this year over this pandemic, we've learned that we have to tell our loved ones that we love them more. We have to spend time with them and let them know they mean as much as our professions because it's time to adapt and adjust to love and family. It was definitely a challenge to delegate and to kind of let some of the things go and let go of some of the control of my firm. But I know that there's no such thing as a self-made millionaire. It's just a team-made millionaire, which I have learned. And um, I overcame that by hiring a team and little by little, it was one person, then two people, then three, and now we have a team of eight. And so I'm really excited that I overcame that challenge of delegating, and it really, really has freed up a lot of time and helped my firm to work a lot better and a lot smoother. I feel like in Atlanta, everyone's either an entrepreneur or an entertainer, or they want to be an entrepreneur or an entertainer, which makes networking in Atlanta such a breeze. Um, whether you live within the city of Atlanta or just in the outskirts, it's a place for everyone. And um, I don't know if, if my story would have been the same if I was in any other city.